Hey Ken, happy Friday. We're gonna start on your car today. Uh, so the A-pillars came out and not very well. I've attempted to glue that tab back in there, but whoever had these out to replace the windshield kind of manhandled them A and B, um, extremely brittle. And you can tell by the color of these. They're supposed to be a white plastic. This is much more yellow. The worst ones are pumpkin orange. You touch them and they all split and just break. So the plastic backing here, it's got these two lines in it. So if the airbags were to blow in, a, in an accident that triggers the curtain airbags, then the plastic uh, kind of just swings open and the airbag pops out. So there is a built-in weak point, but it should be flexible and malleable to the point where you can carefully install them, uninstall them, uh, ideally several times, and not have them break. But these are old. They've been in a car in California for years in the sun. Obviously, uh, this fabric material is just peeling right off. Um, look at that. It's not even attached anymore. And under that, surprisingly, is black. The other ones are... Um, kind of tan colored, but I guess that would show through the fabric. So you've got a new one on order. I think both uh, will be patient and these things are just cooked. Then on the driver's side, whoever put this glass in used way too much adhesive or butyl tape for the glass that had oozed out and totally stuck the pass or the driver's side a pillar into its place. So that was a lot of fun to go in there and cut that out, but that is done. Uh, 16 by nine display has been changed out and we don't have it working right now because the system for some reason needs an instrument cluster, which is on its way back from the pixel repair. So we're making progress there. Then this afternoon I pulled off the rear right door panel per customer request to reseal the vapor barrier, tightened up the two screws that hold the window regulator in as well. They were a little bit loose used a smear of brake clean on the, the old butyl tape so every single bit of it came off completely degreased and nice and tight now with fresh butyl tape the door panel was in average condition for never being touched gets the e39 source signature had to re-glue the mat pocket it totally fell off when the door came apart this has been leaking for quite a while it's quite wet and dank down here um, the, the foam here is all moldy, you know, when these things leak the water just comes down here to the bottom and kind of starts to rot them out. Thankfully, the vinyl panels have enough structural integrity from the vinyl itself. This particle board just falls apart. All the clips are good. We don't have to replace those. Upper cladding was completely loose, scraped off all the old glue. We're re-gluing everything up at the top. I'm going to let this cure here for the weekend. It'll go back in on Monday. Also on Monday, the car goes to the body shop to have the bumper painted, paint matched, um, all of that, it'll be back in a few days. We'll get to the valve cover gaskets and whatever else remains on this ticket. Get the bumper swapped out and uh, do let me know about that license plate panel. We've got the 525 here up on the lift now because the transmission, the rebuilt transmission arrived today. That's gonna start to go in on Monday. Uh, it's over here. The timing chain guide cars out back is running and running beautifully and sounds great. And there's no DME codes, several other issues with the car presently, but that's so far a big success. Here's the 5-speed auto, 5HP24, 5HP19. I think it's 5HP19 for the 525. It's got the bleeder, the evacuator, whatever the hell that thing is we get to use. So that starts to go in on Monday. Ferrari top got cleaned and sealed today. It looks a lot nicer, darker black, just kind of really smooth and nice now. It, it was, you know, it's been down for years, so it was looking a little bit tired. And that was today. A lot of silver, a little splash of red over there. That's the end of the week. Uh, Larissa and I, I think, are going to hit Naughty Barrel after I get home and shower tonight, and I'm just going to take it easy. It's been kind of a hard week. My back and knees hurt. I'm going to go back, eat, and get to bed. Tomorrow's Saturday. The rain's return for the weekend. we got to hit the mall, kind of some house chores and errands and whatnot. Um, I did set up the... I'm adding another half a minute here, sorry. But I set up the ultrasonic cleaner today and put some solution in. Put a, tried it with a few sockets, and that's just what came off of a couple sockets that we've used. By a couple, I mean about six. 15 minutes at 50 Celsius, they come out 99% flawless. Give them a rinse in the sink, wipe them down with a towel, back in the box they go. So, so far, this tool is doing great. Turn that off for the weekend and unplug it for safety. Talk to you guys on Saturday. Good night.